Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. If you like building Toyotas, going off-roading, and watching and checking out some cool Toyota rigs, then this is the place for you. Hit that subscribe button down below. Today I'm with FJ Anna, and we've got her awesome FJ Cruiser here. Anna, tell us a little bit about your Cruiser. So this is a 2014 FJ Cruiser. Um, Lightly modified, well, maybe a little bit more than lightly. Yeah, it's <laughs> extremely modified. It's also army green, um, so it's had a full wrap on it, so it's no longer kind of right. standard either. Yeah, excellent. Well, um, so we're going to just jump from part to part, and we'll talk about everything as we move back. Do we have any upgrades or anything in the engine? So the engine's fairly stock. Um, we've done some small modifications to allow for, like, the washer reservoir to be lifted up so it's not hanging out underneath the um, okay. aftermarket bumper. Um, I do have a, a, an Oxpro switch system that's been put in as far as wiring, but as nice. far as the engine itself, pretty much stock. How many switches do you get? Um, six or nine, I'd have to look at my gauges oh, to dang. see. We'll look, at it. <laughs> we'll look at it when we go on the inside. Um, how about a K&N air filter or anything there? Um, I do have K&N air filter. Okay. Um, I also have a TJM snorkel right. um, that comes in. It's also had a full scuba mod for all of the diffs. Oh, nice. Uh, and so breathers and, and all. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, so let's uh, let's get, move back. We got um, stock transmission from there. Yep. Um, and then stock T case. Yes. And no gear changes there. Um, and then um, stock drive lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on suspension here in the front, let's stick with the front. We'll go in the back, talk about the back. Um, what suspension are you running? So I have a Total Chaos long travel setup. It's their um, plus two. Okay. They have a plus two and a plus three option. Mm -hmm. And then I've got it blended with King. So I have King two and a half inch coilovers and also uh, triple bypasses. Nice. And then uh, external reservoirs on those Kings as well. Correct. Um, why didn't you do the three inch extension? Two and a, uh, I, I didn't really want to get into a fiberglass fender on it. Oh, okay. It's not really my look, and sure. I wanted to kind of keep it fairly stock looking. Mm -hmm. And then when you do the long travel, you have to get longer half shafts. Is that right. a, all within the set? Yes. So okay. if you buy the kit and you have to manually disassemble your old ones mm -hmm. and put everything together with the new CVs on uh, the new half shafts. What's the advantage to going long arm compared to just staying stock? So when you're driving faster in the desert, yeah. it's a little bit softer and more smooth. Also, it's uh, you get a little bit more extension uh, on trails. I had it out on the rocks last weekend, and it's just it's smoother. It's a nicer. Yeah, there's more of a ride. you have more articulation yes. in a way with those arms. Yeah, no, it's a it's a fun thing to do. But it's um, I've had people also say they don't choose to go that direction because mm -hmm. they don't want to worry about extra parts or miscellaneous parts or random parts if they break. Yeah. It's easier to kind of find the stock parts than it is, um, you know, these ex newer yeah. parts. Or if you're going to go parts. hard, you definitely have to have an extra CV axle built. For yeah, it. definitely. So. And then with the front suspension, is there anything else? Do you have um, bump stops up here? Yeah, so I have timber and bump stops okay. on the front. On the spindle, it's um, just it's powder coated. It's fancy uh, reinforced knuckles and gusset like work and yeah. stuff along that. So here on the rear, what um, suspension upgrades have we done? So also sporting King um, shocks, and then I also have the King um, bump stops back here, the hydraulic bump stops. Ooh, nice. I've got the Metal Tech uh, rear lower links. They're about twice as beefy as your stock ones. Okay. I also have, um, I kept the sway bar in the back, the sway bar in the front's gone, but um, I have the Dirty Parts 4x4 um, heavy duty uh, sway bar links okay. here in the back. Just and it's just big beefier ends on the Yes. Back. Okay. Is it an adjustable one? So um, when you lifted it? So I don't think those ones are adjustable. The, um, okay. the sway bar link's not adjustable, but the lower links are. Okay, so you were able to get yes. that rotation. And then you have the Icon 3-inch Expedition Springs back there. Correct, there so a little bit stiffer. Nice. And so armor and protection, what are we running up here? What do we got underneath the vehicle? So I've got ricochet, um, aluminum skids. I ended up going aluminum, didn't want the okay. extra weight of the steel. I've gone through one front bumper, or one um, front, front skid. Uh, skid on it, but um, they've held it pretty well. Okay, um, and then does the skids go all the way back? What, how do things? Yes, um, I am missing a gas, uh, a gas tank skid, but the rest of it's all Shame. Right, and the reason you're missing it is because it's you're using the stock one. Yes. Yeah. And then how about bumpers? Bumpers. So I have both the Metal Tech front tube bumper as well as their rear bumper. Um, love the look. It's kind of aggressive Beefy. and fun. It's open. It's not as heavy. It's exactly. not big and boxy. You're trying to keep it light. Yep. 
for sounds like a lot of more desert work yes. than uh, rock crawling of that nature. But yeah, and then we got sliders. Yes, um, also from Metal Tech, they're the kickout sliders. Okay, um, just a little bit of a benefit when you get a little too close to certain rocks. Sure, you make sure you're. Are they welded on or bolted? Uh, bolted on. Okay. Let's talk about uh, gearing up in the front and your wheel choices and tire choices. Sure. Um, so I have re-geared. Um, I'm running 48s from Nitro Gear. Mm -hmm. um, has made a world of difference. Yeah. I've just been amazed at how I got my um, mileage back up mm -hmm. on the highway, but then also just the greeny gears and being able to go a little bit slower when I want to. Yeah. Um, and, and cruising speed and everything is exactly. a lot easier on the vehicle. Yeah, gearing is awesome. Yeah. I've, I've preached it before. So I've got the BFG KM2s. Uh, these are the 305 7017s, mm -hmm. and they're um, paired with the FN Wheels Overlander Spec B 17-inch uh, wheels. Nice. Yeah, it's a gorgeous set. I like the bronze and the white look. I've always loved that. Yeah. So Excellent. Did, how do you like these tires? Are they... Do you wish you had other ones? What direction would you go so, next, or would you go back to these? Um, I'm probably going to go KM3 next, sure. just because I feel like the KM2 is a little bit too soft for me. Okay. And the KM3s have a little bit more of like that KO2 um, sure. uh, compound with it. Okay. Um, I've also done had a lot of um, barrel cactus stabs um, through these tires. Oh, so sidewall? Sidewalls. Oh, really? And so I need a little bit more aggressive there. Okay. Um, if this isn't my daily at some point... I'd mm -hmm. love to get some Maxis and Trepidors traps. on it. Yes. It'd be no. great. Definitely. Everybody loves those traps. Yes. All right. So on the inside here, it looks like we got a switch, the switch panel and a CB radio, ham radio. And what else? What's over there in the far corner? So that is called a TerraTrip. It's a rally computer. And we've got it connected to the speed sensor on the FJ so that... Um, even though my odometer is not accurate because of the tires and all of my other stuff that I've done to this, um, I'm able to calibrate that to get correct um, odometer readings for when I'm in um, rallies or other types of things where I need to know exactly where I am. So we got an extra gauge right here, which is a fuel gauge. Why do you have another gauge in that area? So since um, the FJ is not known for great gas mileage, and I've actually ran out of gas before, um, I decided that it would make sense for me to have an auxiliary gas tank. So I have the Mana Free 19-gallon um, gas tank uh, underneath, and that is the gas gauge for it. And I'm able to transfer gas over into my main tank. So it transfers to main tank instead of pulling from one or the other? Correct. Got it. And so, and that 19 gallons, so you pretty much doubled your fuel I did. capacity. Yeah. Wow. I can actually drive from uh, Turlock to Vegas with only the gas when we get to Vegas. Dang. It's ridiculous. That's wonderful. With that and improving the gears or get fixing the gears helps out, like we were saying. Amazingly well. All right, so let's move on to accessories, lighting, things of that nature. What do we got going up here in the front? Okay, so um, fully decked out with lifetime LED lights. Um, nice. I have the high output LEDs for my um, headlights. Mm -hmm. I've got a 30 inch um, single light bar here on the front on the bumper. And then I also have the two big driving lights. If I had my, my druthers, I'd run these all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also have a 40 inch uh, double light bar up on the roof rack. Nice. And then uh, you got a winch up front. What kind of winch is this? Uh, it's an Ingo 9000, and it's done very well for me. How long have you had it? it? A little over four years. Oh, wow. And then you got a synthetic rope on there? I do have synthetic. Um, Factor 55 uh, flat link on the front. Um, and then since we're in California and you <laughs> legally should have a, a license, uh, license plate, plate <laughs> this is the uh, Cascadia 4x4 um, license plate thing that you can actually move out of your way when you need to. That's pretty sweet. So. I am breaking that law. Yeah, I, <laughs> I figure mine's gaudy enough that um, I would get pulled over for some reason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, no. oh, I know that vehicle. I, the big, my big truck, I have yeah. to have it on the front, definitely. And then what do we have up top? How about we got this beautiful roof rack up here? Yes, this is the um, Princey roof rack for the FJ Cruiser. Um, it's pretty cool because most of the uh, roof racks that are out there available for the FJs are just flat racks oh, okay and the curve of the fj has it, it's it's a decent curve yeah and so if you just have a flat rack on top of a curve it doesn't really look good mm -hmm. so they've taken the aesthetic 
and allowed you to still have the function of a flat rack, oh, but cool. also kind of matching so the So like a little longer in the front and rear to allow them to stay flat, Correct. but then on the side they're Yeah, they've got the angle on the, okay. on the cutout. Oh, sweet. So that's really great. I also have um, mounted on top of that a, a 270 degree ostrich, ostrich wing um, awning. Okay. It's self-supporting, so I don't oh, wow. have, yeah, I think it's up to about 40 miles an hour. Dang. I think I would feel probably like I needed to put the leg <laughs> down at around 25 or yeah, so. Yeah, definitely. But um, it's great. It puts out a ton of shade and you know mm -hmm. in California we need lots of shade. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What else do we have up there? You got um, a few other things. Yeah, so I've got Mac, uh, Max tracks. I carry mm -hmm. four of them with me and then I also have a high lift jack and then also a dead man uh, earth anchor. My wonderful husband built me this um, drawer system for the back. Uh, we've also removed the back seat, so there's a platform that matches that's built back there. We have a basket here. It's also got Molly connections on it from Orange Box Fabrication. And I have my ARB twin compressor that's mounted onto the back here. My on-off switches right here. I have a 40 liter Dometic fridge with the MSA slide out um, for that. And this is also a uh, springtail um, uh, table. So it'll, I can do it and it flops down and it's a nice table. Well, there we have it. We got this awesome rig. Thank you, FJ Anna, for stopping by. Um, can you tell the viewers where they can find you or what you're up to? Sure, um, you can find me on Instagram. I'm FJ Anna. You can see lots of awesome pictures of the FJ um, out doing what I enjoy doing. Um, also this October, I'm competing with um, uh, my navigator who's going to be um, in the Rebel Rally with me again. I competed in 17. This will be a new navigator for 19. Um, and we're really excited about it. So oh, Excellent. Yeah, so go check out Rebel Rally. I'll put a link to that down below. Thanks again so much for coming out and letting us check out this awesome rig. Thanks for having um, me. Make sure you're hammering down on that subscribe button. And don't forget, keep crawling. <laughs>